So, it's you, only because of stereotype. I know. I know, but you and I have had these conversations yeah. because yeah. you know, I you know, y'all know I'm team interracial dating. I promote to black women to date out. You know, if they're not finding the right black man that they're looking for, yeah. date out. But I will say, you know, you for instance, yeah. or you know, my other friends too, they're like, okay, I'm gonna try it. But it's always, okay, I'll try a white guy or yeah. I'll try a Latino. Yeah. It's never, I'll try an Asian guy. I you guys, before we get into this video, I just want to take time to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You guys, I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that button. Also, be sure to click the notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. Also, you guys, I do have Patreon. I, I created a Patreon account. It's gonna be the first comment pinned to the top that you can go ahead and sign up for that. And I also have another channel called Brandy B Review TV. Um, and I would love you forever if you subscribe to that channel. Now let's get into this video. So Nicole, I have one of my besties, you guys. You know, I always have one of my besties joining on my shenanigans from time to time. Yes, <laughs> and Nicole is here today, you guys. And we're gonna be talking about Nicole. Okay, so I just I just wanna start by saying I love Asian men. Really? I do. I okay. Love, yeah, I, I you know Are we I, talking like Asian Asian or like Okay, now see, what do you mean Asian Asian? Asian? <laughs> Asian, Asian. Aren't Indians Asians too? Like, what? No. no you're making that up. You're making that up. Okay, never mind. I love my Asian men. I I have seen and I've dated some of the most attractive Asian men right here in Atlanta. Really? I have. How was it culturally? Um, it's different. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. But you know, when you can respect someone's culture mm -hmm. and you can respect someone's viewpoints, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Then it can work. Okay. So, yeah, it is a challenge, you I know? See that. But yeah. that's, yeah, that's that's what any interracial um, situation. But, so, I came across this video, right, mm -hmm. of this guy. His name is Tim. I'm not going to even try to pronounce his last name because <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Yeah. But, Tim, he is, if you don't know who he is, he is a comedian. Right, and he okay. apparently he used to be a rapper, but he is probably best known for his comedic role on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. Have you ever seen Wild and Out and oh. the Asian guy, Tim? Yeah, oh, Tim. Shoot. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Tim is married, Tim oh. is married to a black woman. I can see that, okay, I can see and that. And she's beautiful, yeah, and they have a beautiful family, they have a little baby together. Aww. The baby looks Asian, Aww. the baby look don't even look like Gia. Oh my god, but. She's so cute. Like, their little family is so cute. Yeah. And I think they've been together for, like, um, 10 years all together. Wow. But they've been married for four years. Wow. No, no, three years. I'm sorry. Yeah. Three? Okay. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, but they are so cute. It's just such a cute couple. But, so, I came across Tim's video, and he, he and his co-host, they were talking about how, you know, Asian men are often, or the statistic that Asian men yeah. are less desired than other races of men. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I. <laughs> hey, we got the lovely Nikki Blaze. Hello. And uh, we're gonna be talking about how um, you know some articles will say that like Asian men, out of all the types of men's, Me. are the least desired. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so it's only because of stereotype. I know. I know. But you and I have had these conversations yeah. because yeah. you know I you know y'all know I'm team interracial dating. I promote to black women to date out. You know, if they're not finding the right black man that they're looking for, yeah. date out. But I will say, you know, you for instance, yeah. or you know, my other friends too, they're like, okay, I'm gonna try it. But it's always, okay, I'll try a white guy or yeah. I'll try a Latino. Yeah. It's never, I'll try an Asian guy. I know. <laughs> so I was I like, know. but that's so unfortunate. Cause they're, they're handsome. Our they Asians, are. there are a lot of them that are really they lit, are really okay? Handsome. A lot of our Asian, Asian guys are really lit. Yeah. Guys, I, I have a, um, I have clothes on, I have a swimsuit on. I feel like I always kind of have a swimsuit on. Yeah. Like, but it's the summertime, we're outside. We are outside. We're excited to be outside. Atlanta's outside. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta's always outside. Huh? 
But um, but yeah. So anyway, I I like that. I like you that. like I that. Mean, they like, but I think the interesting thing about their relationship, though, and that's why I'm not surprised he's with a black woman, is because he just is immersed in our culture. So if you meet someone who's immersed in our culture, and we quote unquote say, "Oh, they got swag," or you know, whatever, like it means that they. Do you think he could work better? Yes, oh. absolutely, because he kind of understands you. my culture. I hear but you. that would mean that either he's not as in tune with his own culture, or I need to be in tune with his culture too. I think that's important. I think. I think it's important for both people to be in tune with, with both cultures. Yeah, I agree. You know? Yeah. So, Because I don't, you know, it shouldn't be a one-sided thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. you should want to learn about, you know, because when I, a girl, you know me, I, I'm, <laughs> I've dated the rainbow, okay? <laughs> when I was dating my Persian boyfriend, like, his mom would cook Persian food. Yeah. And, you know, and I was happy to learn about it and, yes. and, and you know, learn about his culture, the, the yeah. language, Farsi, you know, it yeah. was, it was different. You know? I love that. I love that. And it's fun. You know, yeah. it's fun learning something new. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I anyway, so Tim and Tim and his co-host, they were talking about how, um, you know, the reasons why uh, some of these stereotypes against Asian men might be, mm-hmm. um, you know, Probably that Asian. Today. Yeah. yeah. And it's because he said, it's because Asian men aren't really shown in the media. Oh. Yeah. And I find that to be interesting, and I think so, because... Let me read this article really quick. Definitely not a sexual... Like, they're never in a sexual light. It's always, like, fighting. (laughs) Not fighting. Kung fu. (laughs) I cannot with you today! I'm sorry! In a recent online survey of 900 Asian American men found that Asian men frequently feel stereotyped as lacking masculinity. They also said they're perceived as undesirable and too passive. Mm. So that's interesting, right? That is interesting. Yeah. The last part explicitly, like expressively so, because like I never thought Asian men were passive. I never mm. correlated them with, you know, being too subdued. Because, like I said, my first thing, even though I was joking, but I do think about a lot of the, like, kung fu, karate kind of movies. Like, they don't seem passive. They seem aggressive. That's you true. Know? they're kicking butt. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's true. interesting. They feel like they, they're shown in a passive light. But I will say, if no one's seen it, that sitcom, did you ever see that? Which one? It was, like, Asian, it was like off the boat. It was this like it came hmm. on after Blackish. It was like or before. Like, I don't they, watch too many shows, to be honest. I haven't so, in yeah. years, but yeah. like that particular show is really cool because the mother seemed a little bit more abrasive and aggressive, mm. and the father did seem a little more passive in this. Oh, time. okay. So in that scenario, but he wasn't like a kung fu. Yeah. So wait, so the article goes on to say, it's an image um, in the media that's often reinforces um, there are few Asian American men um, who lead in Hollywood and only recently have more Asian characters been casted as love interests. So yeah. Yeah, Yeah. you don't see too many. That's crazy. That's like that, you know? Rich Asian kids, I think it was that, or Rich Asians. Rich Asians. Do you remember that movie? Yeah, Crazy Rich Asians or Crazy something like Rich that. Crazy Rich Asians, yes. Yeah. I mean, they Did you see? love it. I didn't even see it. I know, same. That's, <laughs> isn't that sad? Okay, so, also, oftentimes, oh, okay, so this is what I'm saying. So, also, in the video, Tim and his co-host, they went on to say, you know, also another reason, Asian men, you know, I guess it probably just depends on where you live too, geographically. Because mm-hmm. like here in Atlanta, you're gonna you're gonna come across some fine Asian men. Yeah. You are. New York, definitely. Mm-hmm. LA, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. So it is kind of where you live too. That's interesting. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. But I also want to mention Asian women. They feel some type of way against their own. You oh. know, a lot because a lot of the Asian girls I know. Yeah. They are like. They're not attracted to Asian men. They, they want to date. Guys. They would rather date a white guy or a black guy, for sure. Mm. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Wow. Yeah. So Aww, poor Asian men. <laughs> I'm sure they're Y'all fine. Keep blowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. So there's a there's another article that I wanted to mention, and in this article, this is um, according to June'sNewsletter.com. So basically, okay. So here's a quote that says. I'm not into Asian men. Basically, you know, saying this, this is coming from an Asian woman. Yeah. 
Um, I can't attribute this quote to several friends. Oh, I can attribute this quote to several friends and acquaintances. And the funny thing is many of them were Asian, right? So that's how they begin the question and they always say, oh, I don't, you know, you ask them why do they feel this way? Yeah. And it's always like silence, awkward silence or, yeah. you know, they don't know. But, you know, it goes back to what the previous article said. It's yeah. masculinity. Yeah. Because the eggplant it's size. Smaller. and Smaller. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even in frame. Just yeah. Even in frame. Like, it's, it's probably very rare that I've run into an Asian man that I was like, ooh. That you were attracted to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends. Probably makes sense. Depends on where you're, you know, your circle too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um, actually, I had this Asian rapper on. His name was Alan Z, and I'm actually gonna leave that video um in the description in case you want to go back and watch that. But I had interviewed this Asian rapper, and he was saying, because huh? I asked him, I said, you know, what do you think about your, uh, what do you think about the stereotype about the eggplant size? And he was just kind of like, he went into this long history about why and he kind of he kind of attributed it uh, no not attributed that's not what i want to say he kind of made a similar point to how black women are stereotyped as well because of like i think my love for hip-hop because of just who i was always like around it was, it was kind of like natural for me to gravitate towards black women and like I don't, I don't openly talk about it because I don't like people be like, oh, it's a fetish, because it's not. Like, because right, once right. I say it, it's like, oh, it just like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, So right. I just, I just like what I like. Yeah. Like, it's not like I'm rejecting white women, Asian women, whatever. But you just like what you like, yeah. I like all women, but at the same time, I definitely like have love for black women. Okay. Saying, so. so that's awesome. So can you clear up the stereotypes that come with like being an Asian man? Yeah. I think you know where I'm going with yeah, this. Like, yeah. You know, <laughs> about like the eggplant size. Yeah. That is a myth. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think like the reason, like... And why do you think people are so, you know, why do, why do you think people think like that? Because For everybody. Like, well, because of the systematic oppression that we have. Like, the way that people view black people as lazy and financially weaker is the same reason they view Asians mm. as financially successful yeah. but sexually inferior. Right. Like, when Chinese people first came to America, I'm sorry, this is going to be a really historical rant. So no, no, hey, but yeah. But when, when Chinese people came to America, I think in the 1800s for the gold rush during the San Francisco era, like, they were, I think they were marrying white women, and they were, like, in need for jobs, so white men looked down on them, and so he gave them, like, female jobs, like, um, laundry. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ever noticed about laundry mats, like, with Asians, yeah. that's the whole history. I did not and, realize like, that. I am, like, learning today. Yeah, once, I think once, um, like, that whole, like, you know, yellow peril, Chinese exclusion, that came in, and they started noticing, like, well, Asian men might be a threat to white women. They started being like, well, what if we told them they have no dicks? You see what I'm saying? And then it's like, all right, well, let's say that black men have so that now we're the perfect size. <laughs> so it's this, like, my yeah, and I think yeah. it's unfortunate for people to kind of, like, fall into that, because now right. you don't see people as just people. You see them right. as, like, these tropes. Yeah, right. You know because that statistic is... Well, that's true. Like, yeah. black women are the least desired, statistically. Um, so that's yeah. something that Asian men and black women have in common. Okay? Which, Asian men and black women should probably get together since that statistic is like that. I'm just saying. Okay? I'm just saying. But, you know, he did mention that, you know, it's just a stereotype. You know? Mm -hmm. It's stereotypical of men, black men, white men, whatever, to think of black women as... You know, we're bossy, we have attitudes, right. whatever stereotypical thing it is. You know, we don't yeah. like to get our hair wet. I love to go swimming, okay? I love to get my hair wet. I like to go hiking. So, right. I debunk all of those um, stereotypes. So, right. it's just stereotypical things, you know? But, um... <laughs> so, are you going to do the Asian guy, Nikki? <laughs> It'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you guys we are going to go enjoy our saturday night let me know what you guys thought of the video leave your comment below i'll see you guys on patreon.com and i'll see you guys in the next video bye hi guys don't forget to click that subscribe button it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm creating for you thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video